Every year, the United States is spending billions of dollars to acquire and maintain some of the most advanced weapon systems in the world. In today's video, we're counting down the top 10 most expensive weapons in the U.S. military budget for the year 2024. So let's dive in. Kicking off our countdown at number 10, we've got the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense (THAAD) Systems. This is a pivotal component of the United States Ballistic Missile Defense System, or BMDS, intercepting ballistic missiles during their terminal phase. Developed in response to congressional demands in 1992, THAAD faced initial setbacks but underwent significant enhancements during its engineering and manufacturing development phase starting in 2000. Successful flight tests since 2006 have demonstrated THAAD's effectiveness against various ballistic missile ranges. Comprising four main components, interceptor, launch vehicle, radar, and fire control system, THAAD boasts a single-stage booster and kinetic kill vehicle capable of intercepting targets within or outside the atmosphere. Deployed in 2012, THAAD has been stationed in multiple locations including Guam, South Korea, and Saudi Arabia bolstering regional defense capabilities. With an acquisition spending of $216.8 million, THAAD systems play a vital role in enhancing the nation's missile defense capabilities. Moving up the list to number 9, we have the CH-47 Chinook helicopters. The CH-47D Chinook, manufactured by Boeing and utilized by the U.S. Army, is a versatile heavy troop and supply transport aircraft. Equipped with three M247.62 machine guns, it features two times Lycoming T55 GA 714A turboshaft engines, enabling a max speed of 184 miles per hour and a range of 400 miles. With a troop capacity of 36 and a sling load capacity of up to 26,000 pounds, it serves as a vital asset for military operations. Originally deployed in the Vietnam War, the CH-47D underwent significant upgrades from 1982 to 1994, transitioning to the CH-47D model. With enhanced features such as composite rotor blades, improved electrical systems, and more powerful engines, ongoing upgrade programs aim to further improve its capabilities to the CH-47F standard including a new digital cockpit and airframe modifications for reduced vibration. The CH-47D's cockpit accommodates two pilots and an observer, equipped with advanced communication systems and countermeasure defenses. Its triple-hook system allows stability for large external loads, and the spacious cabin provides ample cargo space and troop accommodation. With an acquisition spending of $242.1 million, the CH-47 Chinook helicopters remain indispensable assets for the U.S. military and its allied partners. At number 8, we've got the MQ-9 Reaper drones. The MQ-9 Reaper, manufactured by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated and utilized by the USAF, is the primary offensive strike unmanned aerial vehicle for the U.S. Air Force. Armed with a combination of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, the GBU-12 Paveway-2 and GBU-38 JDAM, it features a Honeywell TPE-331 10GD turboprop engine, enabling a speed of 230 miles per hour and a range of 1150 miles. Operated by a crew of two consisting of a pilot and sensor operator, the Reaper provides unique capabilities for strike, coordination, and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Beyond offensive strikes, the MQ-9 Reaper undertakes various missions such as intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, convoy raid overwatch, route clearance, and more. Equipped with a multispectral targeting system, or the MTSB, it integrates visual sensors for targeting, including infrared, daylight TV camera, image intensified TV camera, laser designator, and laser illuminator. Additionally, the Reaper carries a synthetic aperture radar for future GBU-38 JDAM targeting and can deploy four AGM-114 Hellfire missiles for precise engagement. 
With an acquisition spending of $303.6 million, the MQ-9 Reaper drones offer a cost-effective solution for persistent surveillance and strike capabilities. At number 7, we've got the RQ-4 Global Hawk drone. The RQ-4 Global Hawk, produced by Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, and L3Com, serves the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy with its powerful Rolls-Royce North American F-137 RR100 turbofan engine, achieving speeds of 310 knots and a range of 8,700 nautical miles. Though unarmed, it operates effectively with a remote crew of three, including LRE and MCE pilots, along with a sensor operator. Designed primarily for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, the Global Hawk offers persistent worldwide coverage using its integrated sensor suite, providing real-time imagery intelligence and signals intelligence capabilities. Procured in different blocks, it supports diverse operations from peacetime to wartime scenarios. With its long-range capability and over 28-hour endurance, the Global Hawk offers flexibility in mission planning and execution. Managed by an LRE for launch and recovery and an MCE for mission control, it provides comprehensive command and control functions, facilitating seamless coordination with other assets and agencies. Acquisition cost of this impressive combat drone is $510 million. Moving up to number 6, we've got the UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters. The UH-60 Blackhawk, manufactured by Sikorsky and serving the U.S. Army, is a twin-engine medium-lift utility helicopter armed with two 7.62mm machine guns, capable of a speed of 150 knots and a range of 320 nautical miles. It can carry a maximum load of 2,640 pounds or 11 combat-equipped troops. Crewed by four individuals, including two pilots and two crew chiefs, it's designed for various roles like utility, air assault, medevac, command and control, and reconnaissance. Equipped with advanced features such as titanium cord rotor blades, resistant to AAA fire and pressurized sensors, the UH-60A model is versatile and adaptable to different environments. Its troop accommodations can be modified to carry medical litters, and it has provisions for external stores support allowing the attachment of fuel tanks and weapons like Hellfire missiles. The upgraded UH-60L model, introduced in 1989, retains similar features but includes enhancements like a hover IR suppression system and increased cargo hook limit. With two General Electric T700 GE401C turboshaft engines, it offers improved performance and lifting capacity, ensuring its continued relevance in military operations. Acquisition spending on these helicopters for 2024 is $915.5 million. Breaking into the top five, we've got the Tomahawk cruise missiles. These long-range precision strike weapons provide the U.S. military with unparalleled capabilities to strike targets with pinpoint accuracy from hundreds of miles away. The Tomahawk is an American-made strategic guided missile primarily launched from naval ships or submarines to strike land targets. Flying at low altitudes, it targets fixed sites like communication and air defense facilities, ideal for high-risk areas where manned aircraft might be vulnerable. With a length of 5.6 meters and a range of up to 2,400 kilometers, it travels at speeds of up to 885 kilometers per hour. Launched vertically from ships or horizontally from submarine torpedo tubes, the Tomahawk is propelled by solid fuel initially, then a turbofan engine minimizing heat emissions for infrared detection and reducing radar visibility. Guided by inertial and terrain contour matching radar, it maneuvers like a radar-evading fighter plane, skimming terrain at 30 to 90 meters altitude. With an acquisition spending of $811.5 million, the Tomahawk Cruise Missile Program reflects the commitment to maintaining a potent long-range strike capability. At number four, we've got the Arleigh Burke Class Destroyers. The Arleigh Burke Class Destroyers, manufactured by Bath Ironworks and Huntington Ingalls Industries, serve the U.S. Navy with a crew of 276. These warships offer multi-mission capabilities 
functioning independently or as part of various naval groups. Equipped with advanced armament including standard missiles, vertical launch ASROC missiles, tomahawks, torpedoes, and a 5-inch gun, they excel in anti-air, anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare. Powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, they achieve speeds of over 30 knots. The class includes three variants, or flights, with ongoing modernization efforts to ensure mission relevance and cost-effective operation. Flight 2A ships feature mine avoidance capabilities, helicopter hangars, and advanced network systems. Modernization includes upgrades to combat systems and hull, mechanical, and electrical systems, enhancing connectivity, surveillance, navigation, and warfighting capabilities. Upgrades like cooperative engagement capability, involved Sea Sparrow missile, and improved vertical launching systems ensure continued effectiveness against evolving threats, including ballistic missile defense. With over 60 ships currently operational and additional units under contract, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers remain integral to the Navy's Sea Power 21 plan, providing versatile offensive and defensive capabilities for years to come. Acquisition spending of new ships to the fleet for 2024 is staggering at $4.6 billion. Moving up the list to number three, we've got the Virginia-class submarines. The Virginia-class attack submarine crafted by General Dynamics Electric Boat Division and Huntington Ingalls Industries Incorporated is a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's undersea arsenal. Featuring cutting-edge stealth, intelligence gathering, and weapon systems technology, it serves diverse roles including anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, intelligence gathering, special operations support, and mine warfare. Manned by 15 officers and 117 enlisted personnel, it boasts armaments like Tomahawk missiles, VLS tubes, Mark 48 ADCAP torpedoes, and torpedo tubes. Innovative features enhance its capabilities, such as fly-by-wire ship control systems for improved handling in shallow waters, reconfigurable torpedo rooms for special operations forces, and large lock-in lock-out chambers for divers. Photonic masts replace traditional periscopes, providing superior situational awareness to commanding officers. Modular construction, open architecture, and commercial off-the-shelf components ensure adaptability and state-of-the-art performance throughout its operational life. The Block 3 contract introduced further enhancements, including a redesigned bow with a water-backed large aperture bow array and Virginia payload tubes. These modifications reduce acquisition costs, enhance passive detection capabilities, and offer greater payload flexibility. With its advanced technology and versatile capabilities, the Virginia-class submarine plays a vital role in safeguarding maritime security and projecting power for the U.S. Navy. With an acquisition spending of $10.6 billion, the Virginia-class submarines demonstrate a significant investment in enhancing the Navy's submarine fleet capabilities. Coming in at number two, we've got the F-35 Lightning II fighter jets. The F-35B Lightning II, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, and serving the U.S. Marine Corps is a versatile aircraft equipped with a vertical lift fan and swiveling engine nozzle, enabling vertical landing and short takeoff capabilities. With armaments including AIM-120C air-to-air missiles and GBU-32 JDAM guided bombs, it ensures mission success in various scenarios. Powered by the F-135 PW-600 engine, the F-35B achieves speeds of Mach 1.6 and boasts a range of 900 nautical miles. Designed to replace the AV-8B Harrier II, it operates from austere bases and air-capable ships, with the ability to take off and land conventionally from longer runways. Its stealth features allow it to enter undetected by radars, utilizing an active electronically scanned array radar system and internal weapon carriage for engaging ground targets from long distances without detection. Integrated sensors and information systems coupled with maneuverability ensure air superiority by reducing the radar cross-section. With an acquisition spending of $10.2 billion, the F-35 program underscores the significant investment in next-generation fighter capabilities. 
And finally, taking the top spot on our countdown, we've got the Ohio-class submarines. The Ohio-class guided missile submarines, manufactured by General Dynamics Electric Boat Division for the U.S. Navy, serve as stealthy platforms for striking targets and supporting special operations. Converted from ballistic missile submarines, they provide unparalleled strike and SOF mission capabilities. Armed with up to 154 Tomahawk missiles and Mark 48 torpedoes. Originally SSBNs, four Ohio class submarines underwent conversions into SSGNs, completed in just over five years with a collaborative effort between Puget Sound Naval Shipyard and Norfolk Naval Shipyard, alongside General Dynamics Electric Boat. This partnership, a first in Navy history, proved efficient, finishing on time and within budget. Each SSGN can carry up to 154 Tomahawk missiles in multiple all-up round canisters and accommodate SOF personnel, enhancing combatant commanders' capabilities. They feature lockout chambers for clandestine SOF operations and advanced communication systems, allowing them to function as forward-deployed command centers. With an acquisition spending of $10.6 billion, the Ohio-class submarines represent a substantial investment in maintaining the country's nuclear triad. So there you have it, the top 10 most expensive weapons in the U.S. military budget for 2024. Which of these systems do you find most impressive? Share your thoughts in the comments below.